What's up guys, Don the D605 here, and welcome back to uh, another tutorial, I guess. Uh, welcome back to Rack Room 2016 Download Tutorial. This one's a little bit updated because, uh, well, uh, I see other people who just type and wonder, who, how do you play on the Oculus Quest 2 or 1 or what, yada yada yada. Well, I'm going to show you how. So, this is a little bit more updated and it is going to take a little bit of pricing to actually get it, but the files are free. Uh, it's what it takes to virtual desktops point so strap in and cuz we're about to get right into the video And I do not really have the lights thing to have that on my computer whatever so in order to actually have uh, a Play a uh, record 2016 first things first you need uh, um, Steam and Steam VR installed Next, um, in, you must buy Virtual Desktop on the Quest headset. And this actually is only like $19.99, and it's pretty good, actually. I used it myself, and it's, it works out quite a treat. Then make sure you have uh, the Oculus ADB drivers installed. Uh, then install them to streamer. De then install the Street Desktop Streamer app on your PC, as this is free. Make sure your PC is in the latest firmware, otherwise Virtual Desktop won't open. Open Virtual Desktop and go to the accounts and put your Oculus username and don't forget to save. Where you can actually do it by clicking on here, Let's see if I've already got it here. And you go to accounts and there's your username. And... Then make sure remote connections is on. You can do that by going to options. And then, well, there was an update with uh, encrypt local traffic. I think that means, I don't know what it does, but I would just leave it off just in case something finicky happens because it is not really something known at the moment. So I would recommend leaving that off just in case it, me it messes up any connections. But also turn on remote connections and you should be good. Because this allows your controllers and headset to function there. Head over to your headset. Once connected to your computer, launch Steam VR. But before the game uh, to the game, you, know, you go to the game. You download the the files. Um, which is I'll have the um files in the uh description as well. And don't worry about that. So these are not mine either. So I don't know. Uh, install on PC. Rec Room 2000 single player. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I was reading the description of my previous video just so I could actually help with out with the tutorial. Uh, I usually read things so I can actually understand them better. Uh, so for some troubleshooting issues, how can we sort out those files in, in the game? Well, by going to Windows, then going to Steam, then Steam Apps, Common, and Rec Room. You can actually, uh, before you do install the files on there, delete everything from that uh, that file folder in rec room don't delete the folder itself in rec room uh, uh, otherwise it will not work you have to reinstall rec room itself and then you'll have to go through the whole process again once you delete everything inside that folder rec room you will actually uh, uh, and then install the uh, files in there then see if you can actually uh, click on a uh, re record release and then go in there. And that's about it. When I click record release, uh, the thing uh, it doesn't load. Well, or if it says next, uh, uh, not uh, uh, next to executable. This could mean either you don't have the uh, Steam app ID uh, next to record release or you do not have the uh, record release data and executables in here uh, uh, in the file folder. So make sure that uh, you have all of the necessary files in there before you start the uh, the uh, app. Uh, otherwise, a uh, record won't load. And be aware that this does require a headset. So if you don't have a headset, it won't load anyways. And the final thing is that it, it, why can't why can't you play online with people? in this server well the servers have been shut down in 2020 so it is now just a single player experience so you can act, uh, but the problem is certain games do not work normally with one player so you're better off playing either disc golf uh charade 3d charades with other people uh, uh, nearby you 
or sometimes just for practice um, I suggest shield soccer but disc golf is the best play single player experience game that you can play at the moment for a single player but other than that um, I would suggest um, I don't know messing around I guess but it's a good experience for looking around the place considering that 2016 was a very blast of the past and little did you know, um, I think that you can also play this, the, run these files during the maintenance of the official Rec Room services. So if you have a Quest headset and you can't play Re Access Rec Room's official services, run these files and, and you can play temporarily offline. Well, not really offline, but at least the services servers are offline in Rec Room 2016. And it feels like a single player experience. So just so you can actually play by yourself in Rec Room while uh, basically the servers are temporarily down for maintenance. This is until, you can do that until uh, the uh, services are back up and then you can play online again. But that's all the time I have for this video. Thanks guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and thanks for supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Bye.